Hello, my name's Alfreda. I'm a edu nurse educator at DCH. Uh, I work with the DCH Diabetes Center and I'd like to show you an easy way of just making some homey treats like uh, pimento cheese is what we're gonna do today. With diabetes, most of the time you think there are certain foods you can't have, but it's about the portions of it. Yes, pimento cheese is high in salt, but that doesn't mean you eat the whole serving. You're only gonna eat like a fourth of a cup or make a sandwich. You're not gonna eat the whole thing in one setting. So it's all about portions. So we wanna start today with, uh, there's several ingredients of making pimento cheese really easy. It's cheddar cheese, cream cheese, mayo, and then you have your seasonings like salt and garlic and cayenne pepper. So I like to start with the easier part. It's just mainly like my mayo. I'm gonna go ahead and get this. All right. And I like to go ahead and get the rest of my seasonings in, like my garlic. And my onion powder. As you see, I like to put all my powders and things in because it mixes a little bit easier and you know it's well mixed in. So when I start adding my cheese, it's, uh, I don't have to worry about, is it getting spread out, okay? So that's my cayenne pepper. And we're not gonna do as much of this pepper that's in here, but about that much. Now, for me, myself, I like to do my mines without the salt because I, it, it tends to seem with adding the salt it gets a little extra salty but I am going to put a couple of pinches of salt in it or you can use like an eighth of a spoon of salt and that's using your measuring cup uh, your measuring spoon but I think that's going to be enough because I can do I can do without the salt myself so I'm going to mix all of this together You can also use uh, a mixing bowl and use your uh, your blender or, or your mixer to mix it together, or you can do it in a bowl like this. You just wanna have some room to move this around so you get it all mixed up really good. So now that I've got all of this pretty well mixed, I'm gonna start adding uh, I'm going to put my cream cheese in. And as I said, uh, thank you to Northport Kitchen Facilities because they've already got everything set for me. All I have to do is take it out of the cups. So that makes it easier. And when you're at home, it's easier just to uh, mix this. So in this case, I'm going to switch and use the bigger spoon because you want to mix it together a little more. Sometimes having a blender helps get this together a little bit better. We're going to mix in one cup of the cheddar cheese. When you do it by hand, you really get a workout. So that could be part of your exercise using your muscles to get it going and then that may be an excuse to have a little bit more than your actual serving but I li like I said I like to put my marinades in first so it helps to kind of move around a little bit more and not be as stiff so it's starting to look that cheesiness and you can always uh, get cheese that is a little bit more finer grated and that helps too, because the finer the grated it is, the more it blends in together. But I want to get my peppers in. And this is the pimentos. This one particularly is a chipotle mix uh, pepper, so it has a little extra sauce to it. 
but you can use the basic red peppers and you can either use them plain or you can actually uh, roast them yourself or you can buy the pimentos in the, in the jar that are already roasted with a little liquid with it but what you would end up doing with that is draining that liquid off. I'm going to add the jalapeno peppers if you have a sensitive stomach and spices bother you then don't add the peppers in. You can do without the peppers. You can do without the salt. Uh, you can do without the cayenne if you choose to, if that's not something spicy that you want. So just add that in and you can actually serve it as soon as it's finished or you can put it in the refrigerator and let it chill a little bit and uh, Take it out and you can serve it on crackers or you can serve it on peppers or celery or you can actually make a pimento cheese sandwich okay. all right so we have completed our pimento cheese it tastes very well it does have a little kick because it has those spicy ingredients in there but like i said if you don't like the spiciness leave the cayenne out leave the jalapenos out and maybe a pimento that doesn't have extra spice in it but I do thank you for watching. If you like this recipe, you can check on the DCH website. Uh, we will have a link up as well. So thank you. It's very easy and enjoy.